Lymphoma is a cancer of the immune system, and the immune system is made up of the cells called lymphocytes, lymph nodes, and lymphatics. Um, it is a channel of vessels that actually follow the blood vessels, the arteries and the veins. So the lymphatic system is throughout the entire body. And it is not common for lymphoma to occur in various parts of the body. Um, one type of a lymphoma that is not that common uh, is primary central nervous system lymphoma. We refer to it as primary CNS lymphoma. It is usually a very aggressive lymphoma. It presents mainly as a diffuse large B cell lymphoma and treatment has improved dramatically over the past several years. Um, I think we became much more aware of central nervous system lymphoma, primary central nervous system lymphoma, when the AIDS epidemic uh, started in the 80s. And um, lymphoma became an AIDS-defining illness, which meant that if a patient had a lymphoma, they then, and they had the HIV virus, they then had a diagnosis made of AIDS. Um, when these patients developed lymphomas, they were often in very unusual places. They were not like the common presentation of lymphomas, and they were often much more aggressive than lymphomas that occurred in patients without the AIDS virus. Primary central nervous system lymphoma was just one of those. They often present with confusion, uh, perhaps a um, nerve palsy where they may have a droop of their face or a vision problem. Um, if you do a CAT scan of the brain, you will often see one solitary mass in the brain, which is replacing normal brain tissue. Sometimes you may see multiple lesions there. It's more common to see one lesion. The diagnosis has to be made by a brain biopsy, and so we always have our neurosurgical colleagues see these patients as an emergency. Uh, you don't like to start any kind of treatment because lymphomas are very sensitive to radiation, to steroids like prednisone or decadron, and if the patient has neurological symptoms and it looks like an emergency, many times in the emergency room, these patients will get started on decadron, steroids, high-dose decadron, and by the time we get to the point where we have to biopsy the patient, the diagnosis may be missed or not easy to make. You always have to look for lymphoma elsewhere in the body if someone presents with a primary central nervous system lymphoma, just like with any other lymphoma. And so the workup of a patient would include complete blood counts, chemistries, certain blood tests called the LDH level, the beta-2 microglobulin level. The patient would need CAT scans of chest, abdomen, pelvis, sometimes the neck. Uh, perhaps a PET scan would be done and a bone marrow examination would be done. If all of that workup is negative, then the patient is treated as a primary central nervous system lymphoma. If lymphoma is found elsewhere in the body, then that is not a primary central nervous system lymphoma. That's a lymphoma that probably started elsewhere and went to the brain. The treatment for central nervous system lymphoma has certainly improved over the years. Uh, years ago, we weren't sure how to treat this disease. We didn't have the novel therapies that we have today. And in fact, for years, uh, patients with central nervous system lymphoma that was occurring only in the brain were treated with radiation therapy. And it was referred to as whole brain radiation. They often would give additional radiation to the mass in the brain. And it dissolved very quickly. These patients are very sensitive to radiation, as other lymphoma patients, but they're not cured with radiation. Re radiation um, very quickly was found uh, not to cure the disease, and most of the patients had a recurrence of their central nervous system lymphoma within one to two years. Recent advances have included um, a drug called methotrexate, which is used in very aggressive lymphomas, and it often is given uh, as very high doses of this drug called methotrexate, and another drug is called ARAC, cytosine arabinicide is used in central nervous system lymphoma. And um, 
there's been major advances. Patients who are diagnosed with primary CNS lymphoma should get as many resources as possible. It is not a common lymphoma, but when it presents, you need to know as much about it as you can possibly learn. The Lymphoma Research Foundation is a tremendous resource for patients with all kinds of lymphomas, and especially with central nervous system lymphoma. Uh, please go to lymphoma.org, go onto the website. They have podcasts, they have information, they have written material. Uh, it's an excellent resource for patients with primary CNS lymphoma. A tremendous resource for patients with primary CNS lymphoma um, through the Lymphoma Research Foundation is actually the lymphoma helpline that they have. Uh, you can go to lymphoma.org, look for their helpline. You can email or phone. Uh, I think that's the best resource because at this time there aren't a lot of clinical trials out there. I think they could help you find a clinical trial uh, if you're interested in that. So please, lymphoma.org for information.